Abdul Fayez and his family fled their home on the Myanmar-Bangladesh border a month and a half ago. The Myanmar military were taking women away and raping them. We saw them burning homes. All we saw was fire everywhere. Following huge international pressure, Myanmar has agreed to work with Bangladesh on a plan aimed at eventually allowing the Rohingya to return. The plan entails refugees staying in temporary camps close to their property and destroyed homes. The Rohingya have suffered decades of persecution. They are often described as the largest stateless people in the world. Our main demand is that they recognize us as Rohingya and then we may go back. It's when you take a look at the various identity cards issued to the Rohingya that you begin to understand how vulnerable they are to further violence and discrimination. These cards and pieces of paper highlight the kind of problems that the Rohingya have had for decades in relation to their legal status inside Myanmar. And they also highlight potential difficulties with respect to their identification if indeed this repatriation plan goes forward. This is a citizenship card and it was made available to all ethnic groups, including the Rohingya, after independence. Now in 1982, citizenship was withdrawn for the Rohingya. And it was a few years later that they were issued with this, the so-called white card. Now the word Rohingya has disappeared from it. Instead, there is written Bengali and the religion Islam. In 2015, they had to hand these over and they were issued with this receipt. Now there is no mention of any ethnicity, nationality or religion on this receipt. And it was a few months later that they were issued with these, with a similar scant amount of information. Now the vast majority of Rohingya refused to ever pick these up from the government. Bangladesh has already registered hundreds of thousands of refugees living in the camps. Abdul's son Muhammad wears his new ID card, but the information on it is far from clear. First they gave us a card which said Rohingya registration card. Now they gave us a card which says Myanmar national registration card. Why the Bangladeshi government gave us this card, we don't know. Based on information provided by Bangladesh, Myanmar says it will accept the Rohingya only after it verifies the information. Abdul and Muhammad walk to the border and look at their home, which is now occupied by the Myanmar military. Abdul says he just wants citizenship and security in the country he, his family and hundreds of thousands like them believe they are from. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.